and the three have appealed to President William Ruto to invoke Article 2413 of the Constitution and seek Parliament's approval for the deployment of the Kenya Defense Forces to the six counties declared disturbed and dangerous. The leaders say the ongoing police-led disarmament operation with the support of the military is not resolving the issue with bandits carrying on with their reign of terror. The plea came as a section of residents from Samburu West constituency held demonstrations to protest the state of insecurity despite the ongoing operation in the area. Very on Chimtagoin has the details. Over 20 members of parliament from bandit prone areas want KDF deployed in six counties declared disturbed and dangerous. They say the joint police KDF operation is not working. Mr. President, it is no longer business as usual. As parliament, we are ready to pass that approval of allowing you to deploy military as soon as even tomorrow to allow those region schools to be reopened and the other region infrastructure and many other issues. Article 241.3 subsection C of the Constitution states that Kenya Defense Forces may be deployed to restore peace in any part of the country affected by unrest or instability, but only with the approval of the National Assembly. The leaders want military camps in the affected regions to seal porous borders that allow the illegal arms trade to flourish. No community will have any reason whatsoever to have arms in the pretext of protecting themselves from external aggression. The work of protecting Kenya citizens from external aggression is the work of the military. It is well cut out in the constitution. In Losuk location, Malaso Division, Samburu West constituency, <laughs> residents protested the deteriorating security situation in the region. <laughs> Watu wetu wameisha hata ninapoongea sasa hivi mzee mmoja kutoka Lomolo ana sikwa leo Mr. Losenge. Sisi tukiwa wa mama tumeshoka tumeshoka kwa sababu sisi tunatafutia watoto wetu na watoto wetu wanauliwa hapo kwa, kwa maboma zetu. One of them Ahada has opted to move his animals to safety. He fears the bandits may target him. Jana jana asubuhi ngombe yangu ilichukuliwa nje wa mbili na mbusi inne watoto ya mbusi inne sasa nimesikia uchungu sasa mimi natoroka natorosha hii ngombe ambaye nimebakishiwa Last week, Defense CSA Dendwale, while appearing jointly with his interior counterpart, Professor Kithure Kindiki, stated that they were ready to take over the operation. The leaders also called for prosecution of political leaders fueling the vice and vetting for any livestock being transported from the regions. Leaders and communities have been able to volunteer names of criminals and gang leaders and bandit leaders who have been involved in that uh, uh, massacre and creating mayhem in that region. The police must move with the speed so that those individuals must be arrested and brought before the court of law. On Tuesday, two medics were killed in separate incidents in Aurora and Chesogon, Elgeo Marakwet County.